Mark Brady said he stopped and kind of took a look at the scoreboard, and that's one he's going to remember for a long time. How do you kind of uh, – is this different than a normal loss, or is this one that is kind of unsettling given, you know, who you were playing oh, and the absolutely. score? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's different than a normal loss, no question. Were you guys just giving Royce a breather there, or was he – Or He was unavailable for, for a time. Yeah. We had, we had several skill guys that were unavailable. Mark, on a loss like this, how do you go about dissecting – um, what was good and what was bad, and are you going to try to find the good things, or what do you do with the film, something like this? Yeah, you have to learn from it, and and you know, uh, absolutely, there's there's good, there's there's always there's always there's always good, as as dire as things are, um, and then there's always when when you win seventy two to three, there's always a bunch of stuff you should have done differently or better, and we'll we'll assess and address both. You're two and four. You need to go four and two just to be bowl eligible. Is this a rebuilding job now with Herbert moving forward and playing a lot of younger players? A lot of times it's seen youth movements in sports. Is this a youth movement? <laughs> I don't know what that means necessarily. I mean, we're going we're gonna to put the best person in there to win the game. And, and we truly believe that that was Justin tonight. And, and we're going to do that at every position going forward. At this point of the season, how do you sort of reassess the goals and what you want to see on a day-to-day -day level and a game-to-game -game level and in a big picture level? Yeah, we just never, we never really talk about winning. We talk about process and improvement and better. And that, that, that you know, at some point will, will show up on the scoreboard and, and it's been a, a rough go of it right now. Um, certainly there's individuals that, that, you know, that impacts differently than others and we know that. Uh, but but uh, our, our number one goal is to improve. Mark, you always in the past have talked about making sure that your team's not listening to outside noise. A lot of time that was hype and, and, and good stuff. In this situation, when you know the outside noise will be different, uh, how do you handle that, making sure that y your team doesn't do you make sure they don't listen to it? Or It's, it's, uh, it, it's, pr it's pretty similar. You know, whether everybody's – it's the same person that tells you you're the greatest player ever in the history of the world, smartest coach ever in the history of the world is the same person that, you know, is going to, uh, you know – go the opposite direction they're the exact same person and, and that's where we have to stick together and be again very honest with with one another uh as we assess coaches players everybody in this deal uh what's going on and and we're the only people that can can solve it i, I know you praised the way dakota handled himself this week just how hard of a conversation was that to have considering you know what he gave up coming here and just you know how things have gone just just what was that conversation like yeah i mean you can imagine um can imagine how difficult um, that was, and that's something again that, that we know these guys. These guys are people. These guys are young men. Um, uh, you know, he, he decided to come here with a, a lot of other great options, and and that's one of those things that you you can't um, you can't you you know you can't really factor that in when you're making the decision of what's best for your program. But you have to you have to factor that in when you're having that talk with that that person. And so, sure, that those those things aren't necessarily fun or enjoyable, but they're what's best. Uh, is there such a thing as a good time to have a bye week or a bad time to have a bye week? And if so, is there is there one thing you want your guys to take into this week as they have the week off? Uh, well, yeah, there, there there's uh, you know your bye week is when it is, and we'll take advantage of it whenever it is. And uh, sometimes we have a little bit more control over that than others. Um, but we, you know, we need to obviously heal physically and psychologically um, going forward, and, and we'll take take the opportunity to to do both. We'll use have a couple off days that that we wouldn't otherwise have, and then we'll we'll practice and and lift uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday.